Welcome to the second part of the tutorial on creating your own VPS using VirtualBox and Ubuntu Server 10.04. Um, I'm going to, where I ended last time was starting with the uh, INET address and being able to access it via your web browser. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how that works now. We're going to go ahead and type 192.168.1.120. 3 and as you can see here's my uh, this is on my host computer and as you can, and I can do this anywhere on the network I could access this on my local area network and as you can see that that it's working uh, so it's serving up the web page like it should all right now the next part uh, we'll want to do is probably install PHP my admin so we'll go ahead and do Alright, now it's, one, uh, it's asking us if we want to configure it automatically and we'll choose Apache 2 and click OK or just press enter. Alright, um, we'll go ahead and just select yes here. All right. I always just uh, mimic the uh, MySQL root user's password. I don't know if that's correct or not, but I know if you don't get it right, it will. Uh, it just won't work. All right. So now we should be able to access uh, PHP My Admin via our web browser. And there we are. That was good practice. You might uh, check out some tutorials on uh, on setting up a user. You shouldn't uh, use root unless you absolutely have to, but you could create another user uh, that is safe to use uh, for each database that you create.